Hi, good evening to all of you. Uh, so uh, let's start with this analysis, uh, Bull Cat 3. Uh, as far as my take is concerned, paper was uh, moderate to tough. If I compare English verbal section, uh, was easy in comparison to other two sections. Uh, okay, so uh, let us start with the session. Uh, from my point of view, verbal was easier in comparison to mathematics and DI. Am I correct? Okay, Prashant, last year student. Now I uh, recognize you. So, coming on to the overall analysis, this verbal section, I'm only talking about verbal section. So, verbal section had uh, 12 easy questions. All of you very lucky. Moderate 20 medium level question, medium level of difficulty and only two difficult questions were there. If I look at the difficulty or level of difficulty scenario, so paper had 12 easy and 20 moderate and two difficult questions. If I look at the number of attempts possibly one could have, so nine out of 12 questions, I'm taking 80% accuracy in easy questions, moderate 60%. 12 questions and difficult question I'm only taking 50% so all in all one could have attempted 22 correct questions you need to check your uh, number of attempts and uh, whatever I'm saying right now and match with the number of correct attempts okay Shubham definitely I'll tell you how to handle FIJ's question uh, you need to clear your fundamental regarding FIJ I'll definitely I'll give you the hint so coming back to the analysis part, now the person who got, so like taking about the, uh, you know, attempts in this case, out of 34 question, one can go about 80% of the attempt, let's say 27 questions. And out of 27 question, if my accuracy is 80%, which is on higher side a little, then probably one could get uh, 20, 21 correct. So now let us look at the score, the person who scored uh, top, who was topper in this particular Bullcat 3 verbal section, uh, what was his score? Uh, the one who got rank 1 in verbal Bullcat 3, his uh, score was 70 marks, accuracy was 76% and percentile was 99.99. The person who got 90, his score was uh, 37 Accuracy was 55% and percentile 90. So you can judge, you can benchmark your performance against these two performances that in order to score just 90%. Okay, last few days. Uh, Ketan, we are right now at uh, uh, our 44 center. If you are our online student, I don't know whether you're offline or online student, regular student. At 44, we are 44 center branch, Chandigarh. We are taking 100 days roadmap to CAT, but definitely we shall be taking this online also. So your doubts will be taken care of there. So nothing to worry about. In this session, I won't be able to highlight too much on this question how to study, how to go about, but uh, definitely we shall be taking online session also 100 days roadmap to CAT. Right now, this offline session is going on in one of the branches. Am I clear, Ketan? Yes, Ketan? No, no, no. Uh, answer from your side. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, Shubham. Uh, he's raising hand. I'm not able to see this. Okay, I uh, got this. So, uh, Ekurin, your question is, we like to have 34 question verbal like this. Yes, definitely 34. This is standard set by the uh, new pattern by the uh, uh, IMS. 34, 34 in DI 32. So, all in all, 100 questions would be there. Shubham, okay. Devina is this. Lot of variety. Yes, Devina, yes. We are expecting lot of variety because earlier it used to be only 6 or 7 parajumble questions and uh, 6 or uh, 5 or 6 SR question, uh, sorry, critical reasoning question and 30, 16 gra RCs and 3 or 4 grammars. So this year we are thinking that uh, we are expecting, we are guessing that they will include para completion, uh, which was not coming for the past, uh, from the past 2 or 3 years and uh, sentence completion, yes, uh, definitely this year we are expecting to, the cat will include variety. So you need to, I am not visible. 
how come i am not visible i am not invisible am i so uh, coming on to yeah i think you'll not be able to uh, you'll not allow me to start this analysis coming back to this uh, uh, siddharth your question now am i visible siddharth and jayesh desai uh, what sort of question can you expect this year in cat we can go and hack their site and come to know exactly what kind of questions we are uh, definitely will get in this cat this year so uh, uh, for for this we have to meet ankit the top ethical hacker from india but uh, jokes apart uh, what uh, definitely if you are taking our mocks and cats we are planning we have uh, uh, put the questions as per the latest pattern and whatever we are expecting so make sure that uh, yes what's your name jesh Uh, make sure that you take all our uh, cats and mock mock cats so that uh, there will not be any surprise if you take real cat even so have i answered your question ajesh mm, nothing nothing the concept will satyam the concept will remain the same let it be the mcq form or non mcq form the concept will remain the same the point is that whatever you type uh, type with full concentration because uh, If uh, by, while typing, if you commit any silly mistake, you'll not be able to judge even. Uh, so let us move on to this was my analysis, the rough analysis. Now coming on to the practical aspect of uh, easy versus difficult question as far as bull cat three is concerned. Uh, by the way, number of correct question for this test. minimum okay right right i was coming on to this point bhave so rc in rc1 one easy question was there in rc2 two, two three easy questions were there in our reading comprehension three of this cat one easy question reading comprehension four two easy question so all in all seven to eight question from rcs one could have done and grammar two easy questions summary one easy odd one one easy confusing words one easy so and sentence arrangement one easy so all in all Seven, seven to eight non-RCs question uh, were easy, and the seven to eight from RCs were easy. So all in all, minimum one could attempt seventeen to eighteen questions. And if you attempt seventeen to eighteen questions correct, so you can very well imagine your score seventeen to the fifty-one approximately. And a uh, person who got ninety percentile uh, scored only thirty-seven marks. So well above. if you attempt easy questions only correctly uh, with exceptions uh, uh, to this uh, difficult question and moderate you pick up one or two moderate uh, questions could have scored 95 percentile minimum in verbal section so point to be noted here is that it is very easy for us to score 90 plus or 95 percentile the fight will start after 95 percentile may keep this in mind satyam anything special in iams in set paper what is iams anything special when iams okay iams uh, will set the paper so what kind of speciality in what context you have asked this question uh, satyam i am a set okay i am a set paper i am a are very uh, fussy about uh, finicky about quant primarily and english they are not so worried about di lr section and they try to keep the paper tough uh, the ahmedabad i am ahmedabad and i am calcutta bangalore people also they make tough paper but not so tough paper but all these are empirical guesses uh, so level of difficulty has nothing to do with any of the iams is in critical reasoning it is called fallacy of wrong correlation if you are aware of my students generally are but point is this uh, ahmedabad is generally known for making very difficult papers so don't worry don't about worry about ahmedabad a or b or c doesn't matter uh, but point is this the uh, point is this uh, that uh, you need to focus on your fundamentals and you need to uh, have one strategy in place to maximize your score so coming back to analysis let us start with this lab and move from this slide it is uh, displaying only bull cat verbal 3 so i am assuming that you have prepared with this uh, you have come prepared with all reasoning uh, sorry rc questions rc at least passage so we have taken the score also we have taken that how many questions uh, one could have done the easier one the difficult one i am not talking about difficult ones so minimum 21 to 22 could have get uh, gotten correct 
but minimum 15 to 17 bhave so the first passage was about uh, 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 natural uh, supernatural versus naturalism uh, difficult passage boring passage in terms of understanding and uh, all the question all the five question based on satyam will vocab question will make come back this year yes satyam we are expecting this for sure one vocab question likewise you come across we are given one word let's say in this paper we have given you we gave you the word ground followed by four idiomatic usages we have to pick up the incorrect usage of the word ground so this year we are expecting this to come that's why we are trying all combination and permutation or mocks and the uh, bull cat series so nothing to worry about don't worry the fundamentals will remain the same if you can solve if you are able to recall the usage it would be fine if you are not able to recall the usage then just chillax it will be more than fine so any vocab based question nothing to worry about most of the time we are not able to recall the stuff but point is do not worry too much about this ground or idiomatic usage question focus on rc and uh, other such areas okay coming back to this rc all the questions were difficult uh, moderate i don't know why people have given this question as moderate uh, i'm straight away coming on to question number 67 the author of the passage implies that beliefs of the naturalists as so i could have done even without reading the passage too much and too carefully observed non partisan means unbiased not taking any side and corroborated is confirmed if i read just few line in the last mock i told uh, that just by reading one or two pa paragraphs of any passage could have answered one or two questions easily so in this uh, if you attempted this rc so all the words are clearly because he says that in naturalism we go by observation empirical empirical means whatever is observed and you do not take any side non partisan impartial and you corroborate you confirm something with the help of evidences so all the above 67 could have been answered easily without putting too much strain on our mind i picked up i picked up one more question all of the each of the following is true as per the passage except look now question 2 i don't understand question number 2 of this rc okay the primary purpose of the author is so it is uh, uh, the primary purpose was to uh, explain the principles of naturalism and to it is answer option is b and how it is different from any other thought thought he has just taken up supernaturalism that's it but i think i think uh, uh, so did you pick up option 1 uh, as the answer to this question lubna what was your take okay so uh, i knew that uh, most of the students will pick up this that's why uh, i we got this level of difficulty as moderate so see lubna in this particular choice it says mention the basic philosophy behind naturalism till this it is fine and how it is superior to nowhere in the passage he has mentioned that naturalism is superior to he has only highlighted what naturalism includes and what supernaturalism include and how these two are different and how they are similar even the basic difference is that oh, naturalism is based on observation evidences facts etc and super uh, supernaturalism is uh, primarily based on illusions so that is the basic difference so uh, have i answered your question lubna the superior but there is nowhere in the mention uh, he hasn't reached any conclusion he did not draw any conclusion regarding this naturalism is superior to so uh, uh, 69 question guys if your uh, my voice is audible i'll just rush through because there's no point in going through again these rcs and again picking up this question i pick up few question just because to show you that even without putting too much strain we can solve these questions easily question number 69 uh a third was the answer except and now third says world by world view naturalism and supernatural world view do not carry any similarity they are almost uh, overlapping the only the primary uh, difference is that one is based on facts and whatever we see around that is called naturalism and supernaturalism is based on illusions myths so that is a uh, uh, they do not carry similarity they do uh, carry similarity but the only point of difference is this so everything is true but uh, except this third point so easy one again i don't know people uh, mark this as moderate one 
and the tone and attitude exhibited by the author of this passage can be identified as now look at this choices only just by uh, uh, knowing the uh, meaning of these options uh, we can reject three or four uh, one or two easy choices for example if i pick a fourth precise and inchoate precise means to the point inchoate means not clear if someone is precise he cannot be inchoate at the same point so rejected thoughtful and depreciatory if one is thoughtful and the person cannot be depreciatory again rejected insightful if you have got insight into something you cannot be inconclusive even so got this so whenever we come across uh, look at this simple uh, trick that even without reading the passage we could have answered answer question number 71 and in this passage if i am uh, if i was able to attempt let's say the passage is moderate and uh, out of seven uh, five given question uh, if you get three to four correct it would be more than sufficient in spite of the passage being a uh, little difficult to understand and most of the questions were moderate so without reading the passage we would have answered this question there is no point in reading this passage so till now we have seen two questions and in third question also which i picked up from, from this passage could have answered without putting too much strain so i don't know why people uh, are bogged down by these so called philosophy rcs am i clear guys press yes why are looking like surely like khamoshi there is sanata absolute sanata on your side am i making any sense are you getting whatever i am saying even without uh, reading too much we could have answered okay now people are uh, showing faces vinaka 32 smile okay let's move on to next question so this is i think summary based uh, where we humans are going as species and uh, if you read this passage you will find that science fiction says that most of the science sci-fi movies you will come across genetically engineered and uh, gataka he has given cybernetically enhanced like general grievous in star wars etc i'm not holding my breath the first of these natural selection is impracticably slow so author he has given few example that in near future i think to 1000 year down the line 500 uh, year down the line will come across humans like this but uh, uh, he is not so optimistic about this uh, particular thing to happen so he is not in favor of so we should be able to judge the tone even and he says that there is huge gap between uh, sufficiently sophisticated bridge between these extreme nowhere in sight so he is not at all thinking of is slightly even not even slightly optimistic about this uh, this will happen in future so you need to understand the summary uh, the tone and the attitude see in summary we have to pick up the main points only generally in order to make you sentimental while you take the exams in summary based question we pick up the line and we frame inference answer inferred answers and you generally are trapped uh, within these choices the task is very simple just to make you sentimental while attempting summary based question we pick up the one line from the somewhere in the passage given and we'll try to draw one inference and paste as one of the options summary has nothing to do with the inference summary means you need to sum up and sum up means you need to include the main point and as well as the tone of the author so just look at the choices now so uh, shubham you are asking about this question 72nd okay uh, shubham uh, do we know the meaning of purported suggestion of science fiction border on fanciful there is no purported purported means what is the meaning of the purport seemingly true but false if, if you are talking about science fiction there is no point that it can be seemingly true but actually false it is false it is fiction so the word purported suggestion itself uh, says uh, the technically wrong word so we pick up few words uh, from here and there to make wrong choices the answer to this question was second the suggestion of science fiction with respect to future of human may not necessarily come to fruition because author is not at all uh, hopeful of uh, this to happen 
these things will happen either, either because of lack of ability to engineer yes mentioned that we are technologically uh, limitations are there and uh, uh, immutability of the humans because uh, we find it very difficult to change so nothing to discuss about in this question let's move ahead okay uh, uh, very simple example and again students have marked this as moderate I don't know why Sudoku we all play we all love this time pass game very chilly game yeah it has to be rational because you need to uh, scratch your brain to get challenge being where one player should be assimilated the nine parts into one coherent whole assimilate is digest so it cannot be vibrant we are not celebrating anything it cannot be vibrant there will not be any vibes coming out or positive music coming out of Sudoku L no Manpreet it cannot be logistical logistical means whenever you are sending some items somewhere and you are taking entries writing entries and you are making entries so uh, okay entry till entry point is sufficient but you are not sending any stuff anywhere it has to be rational logical it's a logical game pose the challenge and that whole adheres to the rules whenever you're talking about rules it has to be logical so two or three th things were there no bhavay it cannot be logistical so what exactly you mean by the word logistical Shubham related to logistics. It is not logical. Rational is logical. So it's a logical game. It cannot be logistical. Logistics is something else in a branch. Uh, it's an area where we take care of inventory in any business. Yes, Equilin, absolutely fine. Uh, logistical is not uh, where we send items. Yes. It's called logistics. So very simple question. I don't know why people picked up this choice and mark this question as moderate very simple question and this is uh, one of the very interesting passage uh, where uh, we can think of let's say if we were not able to clear crack Harvard in our time so by reading this passage one can feel a you know sigh of relief that there's no point in going there if you want to become Bill Gates and uh, Mark Zucker so you need to come out of your whatever you are doing so very interesting passage uh, very motivating passage and uh, uh, yes Shubham uh, connotation uh, for courier uh, related people yes absolutely correct so in this word uh, in this passage related to now recall if you are not able to recall this passage this passage was uh, about that most of the elite I ivy league colleges like harvard etc where the uh, cost of education if you do any particular course from there is fifty two thousand dollar he has given and he has given ample example that people who have uh, achieved so much in this world and they are still alive like bill gates and mark Zucker and other such people uh, they were they uh, went there but they came out after completing let's say a few months or one year or so and and still they are very successful so he's asking his in this passage he challenged the authenticity and the need of spending too much on getting elite education higher education so point is moral of the story i'm talking this outside this passage if you are too, too uh, passionate about whatever you think about anything if you're about uh, passionate about your idea whatever you have so uh, who knows that uh, after completing one or two months at IIMS Ahmedabad, you come out and make your start your own enterprise and in coming years, let's say down the line two or three years, your turnover of your company would be something like two lakh thousand crores. So that's what passage was all about. So we all get uh, motivated after reading these kind of passages. So let's see what question we have. Very lengthy passage suitable title for the passage i picked up this uh, question passage because of this question only so uh, 77 so the fight was between two and three am i correct and lubna also shubham also mentioned see why not learn is not uh, stressing uh, nowhere in the passage he has stressed that we should definitely go there or we should not go there for sure anybody who wants to start his own enterprise should take admission there and leave the college after one year he would be uh, damn successful no so why learn and why not learn i think they are opposite to each other 
because we are talking about see uh, there's no point in confusing between uh, to confuse ourselves between two and three because he's talking about the degrees you get there people are too uh, impressed by these so-called high fi institution and degrees but he's not even uh, criticize these colleges and uh, Uh, primarily uh, the degree is no doubt we learn a lot and uh, because of uh, he has praised uh, two or three times in the passage but he's saying that see in spite of all these benefits do we still think that uh, spending uh, this much is worth so that's why third is the best yes lubna options were that's why uh, it take uh, too much time from our side when we frame options because it is very difficult to pick up any passage cut short edit and make rc for you the main challenge for us is to frame choices and that to uh, very close options we want to play with your emotions that's how i'm paper setters uh, do and uh, same thing we do while we set papers for you degrees of influence yes it has to be or uh, depends uh, equivalent that uh, should be prefer or this or uh, not but depends upon the see title should be catchy title should be impressive title should able to capture the essence of the content so uh, the choice was not between 1 and 2 or 2 and 3 the choice was between 3 and 4 because we need to include the degrees word so one hint was already given from our side that uh, starting right from the starting we talked about this high uh, degrees from these colleges after spending uh, too much so it has to be either 3 or 4 so degrees no doubt degrees are very uh, uh, so called important in terms of their application one can get good job after these thing uh, these uh, getting these degrees so third is a little bit correct no doubt but self worth there but we are not talking with the third choice hasn't taken the you know that uh, money into consideration so money you will find is influence degrees of influence Yes, uh, definitely. Because if the pun is related to your uh, central idea, is hitting central idea, anyways. So definitely, we can go. Okay, uh, let's see what we have next. Uh, since grammar based question, yeah, very surprisingly in this test. i came across these 3 4 4 grammar question we set for you and people have uh, taken these questions uh, how many questions how many grammar questions were easy i think two or three and one or three they have picked they were not able to solve one idiom idiomatic usage based question so do not worry do not worry about idiomatic usage whenever you come across idiomatic usage in terms of words in terms of uh, let's say uh, uh, grammar based questions so do not bog your mind simply if you are not able to recall the stuff leave the question it will spoil it will uh, you know lower your accuracy and thereby score also so uh, uh, see, uh question number 80 second based on grammar we know that uh, in conjunction the uh, pair of not only is with but also in c i think we have to pick up grammatically incorrect since there is no not only there is no point in using but also so in c he has used gurus so but also no point in using and in e also there are in different society where history was was means past tense with hierarchy someone with a background similar to jobs is so it has to be either was both ways past tense if the first half is in second half should also be in past and unless in second half you are saying something universal so instead of is becoming so the tense consistency says probably have become a part of yes harshit what is your question uh, we are saying talking about sentence 2 uh, so uh, what is your question is proved was no myth or proved okay let me check let me go through this 
yes equivalent must not only must be followed by but also not that by but that so in uh, uh, you are taking the cue from my this uh, line that uh, if the first half is in past second half or should also be in past but if i talk about there is that this was no myth or illusion is proved by the so it says that this was no myth or illusion is proved by the life of steve jobs uh, so if I look at the, these all sentences are connected her so it it say that from the time pilgrim father landed on East Coast uh, the America America had been a known of land of infinite opportunities so this was no myth at that time also this was true and this in this present era this has been proved by the life of Steve Jobs that's why in the second part is is there uh, nothing to do with the uh, was is combination was is uh, with the first had was am I clear her so it okay yeah myth is that uh, That it was uh, America had been known as a land of infinite opportunity. This was a, a myth or illusion. This was no myth or illusion. Yes, better structure would have, would have been as per one of you mentioned, uh, Shubham. And it has been proved by the life of, it has been proved. This is no myth. Could have been another structure, another form, but this form is also fine. Nothing to worry about. I think the time has come to move ahead. What was the problem with this? Okay, and the answer was ACE. Again, next question based on grammar. So in this question, uh, let's say question number 83rd and people have given this as difficult out of two difficult questions, This was one of the difficult questions and uh, I don't know why this was difficult because primarily it was based on the little bit of idiomatic usage. But if you read these sentences very carefully, we'll find that uh, the question was a little difficult because of the idiomatic usage. But if you are aware of then go for these questions. Otherwise, there is no point in picking up these questions. So did you pick up this question? No. So uh, in this uh, error. So uh, in B, it says that but addiction, ignorance, callousness, apathy, self-importance are part of everyday experience living off and governing actual democracies. Living in, living off means you are not there. Not attached to living in and governing actual democracies. It has to be living in. There, context based, context based, nothing to, uh, nothing to, you know, uh, too much based on grammar or something. This is usage based and in uh, question number uh, sentence number C. So the courts even when they are struggling to keep up with their own backlog have to intervene even when they are fully aware of their the adverse consequences. It cannot be adverse. It has to be adverse. Adverse is means they are not inclined to or repulsed by and adverse is opposite. Yes, Equilin, uh, we can uh, begin any sentence with but it depends upon the context. After full stop, we can use and also after full stop, we can use but also. There is no point in using and uh, we use uh, and to separate but to show contrast. And even sometimes we use comma and and comma and but also together. So we can start. It depends. Yes, uh, to you all and uh, the point is in uh, CAT or CAT level exams, we cover British English, British grammar that is considered standard. Let's see if you read uh, Better English by Norman Lewis or these book, Norman Lewis primarily is an American author. So uh, we want to read grammar, understand grammar, read Renan Martin. Second half, uh, there are 20 to 30 pages dedicated to uh, English usage, grammar usage. Just go through these uh, usages 
and go till structure structure of the sentence is right from subject over agreement etc till structure no need to read figures of speech so renan martin primarily and any author from england uk will serve the purpose do not pick up anything written by american yes because we can start sentence with because even in para completion you will uh, sentence arrangement you will many times you will come across this particular type so third passage passage 86 question number 86 it was about forgiveness i think this passage was very simple and uh, uh, from my point of view reading was simple but i think question uh, framed were little tricky <clears throat> yes gmat is american based exam and i study gmat material is it a big problem no in from gmat uh, guides if you study uh, reading comprehensions if you study critical reasoning and to some extent sentence correction 90% british and american english is same the only <clears throat> 10 to 20% variation is there so uh, sentence correction sorry reading comprehension and critical reasoning you can come from any gmat book let it be official princeton review kaplan manhattan whatever whatever don't worry yes prashant you are asking what uh, because to start any sentence because it depends on the context the previous one i cannot start without any reason with the word because it depends upon the situation context yes but we can so it is his question uh, the author of the passage is primarily concerned with it is about forgiveness and uh, 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 he has discussed uh, the timing when we should uh, forgive and uh, what should be the conditions but throughout the passage if you read if you read it is passage you will find that he was not able to reach to any particular conclusion so author is primarily trying to do what so throughout the passage uh, he was uh, telling us that uh, different cultures different people have got different views and uh, uh, it's very difficult to reach to any particular situation and sometimes the situation where we want to forgive and we have forgiven let's say we are thinking of uh, forgiving anybody it becomes too difficult for us to decide to reach so first is half true as far as this choice is uh, this question is correct second is complete highlighting a complicated concept and important points pertaining to it second i think was the answer in this case now very simple question i think uh, in these two questions um, misfit one people have given this as uh, difficult i'm uh, sorry moderate and i uh, right from the bull mock cat 1 to bull mock bull cat 3 i have found that people are finding uh, student test takers are finding these odd one out misfit sentences difficult base questions difficult uh, make uh, keep in mind that in misfit generally the sentence arrangement techniques are not 100% applicable no doubt we can track opener closure sometimes since we are not rearranging and uh, uh, we have to rearrange all the sentences and we have to take one uh, one uh, the misfit one out so all the tricks are not applicable try to link the sentences with the help of theme theme in all the sentences and one you will find lying outside the theme so in this question 88th question we are talking about uh, marriage in the sentences and b talks about divorces without divorces so b was odd one out
Yes, this was easy. This was easy. Again, para completion question. In para completion, one can have uh, only two options. Either we need to wind up the situation, conclude the story, or extend the story. In all the two situations, in all the situations, we have to keep to take care of tone of the passage, keywords, and the style of writing. So just focus on these two lines and we can answer. He's saying something. He did not mention time frame, but even the fraction of trillions in near term could be huge damage. Right? He did not mention the time frame. When this problem he'll be able to solve. He also did not offer specifics specification on how the plan to make these cuts so he say something he mentioned to uh, you know uh, lines to take care of the situation economic uh, adverse situation but uh, he was not able to specific but not able to give specific answer to both the problems so last line says that it is it was a kind of um, extension of the second last line there is no way to solve country's fiscal ills without an accurate diagnosis and rigorous prescription for cure so answer was one because his speech was divided of both he did not give anything at the first place he also did not give anything at the second place so he was it was divided of both very simple one uh, 90th i think this question was easy Guys, physicians, uh, physician, physics can can be beautiful. Read Newton or Einstein, or you could play Portal to Physics can be beautiful. This is talking about game, and it is not supposed in this game. You are not supposed to uh, flex your muscles, or it has to be eye-hand coordination. Something it is about mind. So last line said it will not test your reflexive eye head coordination. So what it will test actually it will test check your mind, your ability to solve. It is about uh, fun out of physics. Then all shoot them up. This is a this is a brain game and you don't get a thinking hard to be entertainment experience. So it is talking about fourth I think what. It, it will not test your reflex and coordination so what it will test actually so third is gone because mind is there F second is gone because of physical activity third is again conversion of thought into action no action being talked about first rejected the only left one is answer four very easy question and people have marked this as moderate they were not able to solve this question fourth even without reading too much we have solved again Now, uh, after a long gap, we have given you this question. So, guys, do you recognize the type of the question? In which particular topic you come across this particular type? This is called logical consistency. Yeah, it is syllogism. It is logical consistency. If A happens, then B happens. And it is uh, followed by four conclusion. If the statement is, main statement says, if A happens, then B happens. So the conclusion of the one of the definite conclusion is you can draw this by Venn diagram also. And uh, if B doesn't happen, then A also will not be there. The event A. So it says that if I go to Dubai, I'll be employed as a driver. Just took a look at the first event as A and the last event at, uh, as B. I am uh, employed as driver, then I will be working for 12 hours a day. If I am working for 12 hours a day, I will be making at least million rupees a year. So it says that if B doesn't, then A also doesn't. I think there is third choice. Third was the answer to this question, 97. You can draw two circles. One smaller circle will represent A 
and bigger circle if a happens then b happens outside the b would be there and the point is lying outside b even if it is lying if b doesn't happen the point will lie outside b that it means that a also doesn't yes guys you are a genius so time has come to wind up this session it is already 6:04 i have my next class to take i know which other question i have picked up to last 99 question uh, shubham sorry i think we are running short of time but uh, are you my regular student first of all tell me shubham are you my regular student no uh, so you are online student test series student okay so problem can be solved because we have got only 45 minutes to take this analysis and in analysis i am not supposed to even solve the paper that's why uh, whenever you uh, join and one or two people you know uh, okay uh, bishik uh, and uh, shubham and all students in order to understand fijs uh, i'll uh, okay my regular students are already aware of all the tricks and uh, any regular student yes bhave is my regular student any regular student of my batch siddharth are you my regular student okay yeah we need a lecture uh, you need a lecture so i am uh, okay definitely we'll plan one lecture it would be 30 uh, 30 to 45 minutes lecture co comprising all fijs concepts and few questions and uh, probably next week or so i'll keep this lecture but uh, it will be it will not exceed more than 1 hour during weekend uh, see lubna i'm uh, too busy there are only two busy people on this earth one is narendra modi another is rajiv markande who is right now taking this session jokes apart uh, so because saturday we have i've got jam pack schedule and sunday also jam pack schedule but uh, definitely okay i'll try to keep this session on sunday if it is possible so sunday would be fine guys so how many of you want to have this fij session just press yes how many of you want to have uh, fij sessions fact in french judgment very tricky that's you know gray area i would say it is 51st shade of the gray 50 shades already out in the market this is 51st shade okay all of you want so i'll keep this session i'm winding up this session right now because i have next class to take uh, these two last uh, uh, yes i'll keep this session probably i'll try to keep this session on weekend probably this sunday and as soon as as soon as we are able to set this session we'll send you message any book on philosophy mm, right now i don't know uh, what kind of stuff uh, you have gone through till now or you read a uh, philosophy would be something polo polo and rand dan brown i don't know have you gone through absolutely fine burton russell yes 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 burton russell absolutely after reading for burton russell too seriously will find that uh, the cat paper setters and cat paper takers test taker all are born stupid except you so do not take these philosophy book seriously if you try to take these seriously and try to imbibe on your blood you will not be able to focus anything in this on this world so see you guys thank you all showing patience and uh, bearing with me and next time see you